Red Star today signed um, Luis Dionne from, from Angers, uh, which is, my pronunciation is awful, but it's a French club, uh, finished 13th uh, last season. Um, Dionne had two, uh, five goals and two assists in, I think it was 36 or 38 matches. So not exactly uh, crazy numbers. He plays center forward, which with the departure of Diego Falcinelli back to uh, Italy, Red Star was looking for a new striker who would kind of take over. Uh, Diony is coming in on a one-year uh, loan deal, so he is not a permanent signing of the club. Um, it will be interesting to see how he slots in at the club. He's someone who uh, most often plays center forward. He can play left or right wing. Last season, I think he only had one match where he played uh, outside of the center forward position. I believe it was on the left left wing. Uh, so he is someone who can play uh, three different positions. But I think in this case for Red Star and the formation that they play, I think he's just going to play a center forward. Um, Kostovic today scored two goals in a friendly, so he's kind of making a name for himself. I think he had another goal in a, in a previous uh, friendly. Uh, you know, Milan Pavko is still here, uh, someone that, you know, the fans really like and, uh, and I enjoy as well. He offers something a little bit different. Uh, than Diony. Uh, Diony is a very fast player. Um, he's able to make defenders miss. He likes to assist quite a bit uh, in his career. I, th I think he has something like 50 something goals and 25, 26 assists. So he doesn't score too much and he's played something like 228 matches. So he's not exactly your prototypical goal scorer, which is something I think Red Star really needs because we've been lacking that. Falcinelli didn't really give us a lot of that last season and Richmond Boachi did a great job for us in the early part of his tenure with Red Star. But once he came back from China, he wasn't the same type of goal scorer that he was when he left. So it's going to be interesting to see how Diony slots in with what Red Star are doing right now. I'll say this. He has two really, really good playmakers um, in Alexander, Alexander Katai and Mirko Ivanic. So he's going to get the distribution um throughout the entire match. And then you also add someone like Ben, you add someone like Kanga, um, you add someone like Nikolic. All of these guys can, can pass the ball and they can do it very, very well, um, racking up the assist totals as they did last season. But Diony, is, his job is going to be to come in here and score goals for Red Star because we've been really lacking that from the center forward position, like I said, for the last um, three or four uh, seasons, I would say. One thing I'll say about Diony, he doesn't score a lot, but some of his goals, watching his stuff on YouTube, uh, he's had some really nice goals um, throughout his career. It's just that he doesn't score them, um, he doesn't score many in his career. Um, one thing I'll say is it's a loan deal, but if Red Star chooses to purchase his contract, I believe is something like 1.2 million euros. So, you know, next June or July, whenever the loan deal is finished, you know, they can opt out um, to buy them to buy him. Uh, and I think a lot of that is going to be based on how he does this season. Red Star has also bought a, another striker that didn't really buy him. I think he's coming in on a free loan, on a free transfer, which is going to be in January. But in the meantime, you kind of need someone um, there to, to score goals for you. Like I said, there's still Milan Pavkov is there. Uh, Lazatic, the youngster who debuted last season. Maybe he gets some minutes. Kostovic is doing very well. Um, in the exhibition matches. So we'll see what his role, I'm assuming his role is going to become a little bit bigger on this club just because Falcinelli is gone, who was kind of the go-to striker uh, when he was healthy last season. But you also have guys like Milan uh, Popkov, like I said, uh, who's done incredibly well for Red Star. He scored a lot of goals, a lot of big goals in his Red Star career. But the, only, the pressure is going to be on from day one. Uh, he's going to come in here and he's got to score goals. We got to, we got to set... Um, some kind of target for him going into the season. Look, there's a lot of Champions League qualifying that that has to, that the wrestler has to go through before um, the the uh, group stages for Champions League. God willing, we get there. Um, and you know, if you don't, you still have Europa League, where you're gonna need all your goal scorers. You're gonna need lots of goals. So the pressure is gonna be on him from day one. Like I said, he has a lot of good um, distributors of the ball. Um, his ability, like I said, with his speed to get by defenders, I think is gonna. It's a little bit different than what Falcinelli. Pavkov and even Kostovic have to offer so that's um, an aspect of his game that I would kind of look at and say this could be where he's uh, better he does a good job of trekking back and and um, you know getting the ball off the 
uh, opposing players as well, which is uh, something that actually Falcinelli did very well. I think Boachi did that well as well when he was when he was here, and Popko does that well when he, in the air. So, all in all, I like the fact that this is only a loan deal to see what he can kind of do. Uh, and in January, you're gonna have a striker coming in who's coming in on a free transfer, and then you're gonna gonna kind of put your eggs in that basket. Who knows if Dione impresses? Maybe he gets another uh, deal. Um, with Red Star and he stays here but for now as a loan deal I like this um, there's going to be a lot of competition for starting spots and with uh, the domestic league and Champions League qualifying matches are going to come quick and often so you're going to need you know 20 players to kind of um, keep this team you know at, at the level where it needs to be so as of right now I really like this signing.